We take a deep dive into some of the most recent events going on in pop culture. And we sit an ironic admin student duo step into each other's shoes. And finally, we sat down with the president of Black Student Union to talk about everything they have planned for Black History Month. All this and more on this episode of Blue Hawk Talk. What's up, Blue Hawks? I'm Kyle Lewis. And I'm Taylor Bedford. We are both so excited to be your host for the first episode of our brand new talk show, Blue Hawk Talk. Before we get into some of the segments we have lined up for today, we're going to start with a pop culture update, starting with the recent news about the Gossip Girl reboot. I know HBO Max is canceling it after only two seasons it's of so being on sad. air. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews about it, but I actually really liked it. I never saw the reboot. I absolutely love Gossip Girl, oh, but yeah. I also know the characters on the reboot are not the same, mm -hmm. and I just don't want it to ruin Gossip Girl for me. Like, I cannot think about Gossip Girl without Blair Waldorf. Like, oh yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, the show is definitely one of my comfort shows. Like, I've rewatched oh, totally. it at least I've three times. I've rewatched it at least a couple times for sure. Oh yeah. It's too good, but yeah, I mean, I guess it just wasn't getting enough reviews that were good to get it for a third season. I did hear that there is a possibility of it being, or season three being, of the reboot, being put on a different streaming platform other than yeah. HBO Max, but that's going to be very hard to come by given the fact that the original Gossip Girl is on HBO Max. Oh and yeah, getting all of that transferred would be really difficult. Because I know it had this like weird phase where it was like going off of Netflix yeah. and like, people just don't want to their favorite shows being moved. So the, I don't think it's gonna happen, but there was a little bit of a rumor of that maybe being a possibility, but yeah. I guess we'll see. I don't know, I mean, I think the second season had a good end to it, so if that's where they're gonna leave it, I think it's a pretty good stopping point. Well, I definitely need to go watch it and yes, then see <laughs> what I feel about it given the new characters and everything. Mm -hmm. And then speaking of reboots, there's also rumors going around about a Zoe 101 reboot. Oh yes, I'm so excited about it. Um, you see, uh, Jamie Lynn Spears posted a picture on her Instagram. Did you see it? I did see it. Oh my gosh, yeah. So this is the picture she posted. Um, I'm so excited for the reboot. I think the show was a little bit, like, kind of before It was, like, our before time. our time, because I never watched Zoe 101. Yes, I watched it a little bit, but, again, that was kind of like an older kid's show yeah. from the age that I was at the time. But now that the reboot is coming out, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely going to go, go back and original. watch the original. Yeah. And then just to see... I, here it's going to be called Zoe 102. Oh, that's going to be cool. And unlike Gossip Girl, the original cast is coming back for this. That's so good. So hopefully people will be more fond of it because it's like, you know, the same people they fell in love with originally. Oh, yeah. I think it's a really good idea bringing back all of the original characters. I mean, we kind of saw this happen with iCarly a oh, little bit did. ago. yeah. Except Sam wasn't... Uh, Unfortunately, it really wasn't the same without Sam. And I probably just can't be the same without Sam. So no. I wasn't a fan of the like new I Carly. They also tried to make it really like made for adults. It and was, it was very a kid show. Yeah, I mean, I think that they kind of realized that their audience was more grown up now, but they didn't kind of cater towards that yeah. younger audience that did still watch it whenever they got a little bit older yeah. after the show had originally premiered. I mean, I wasn't too big of a fan. I don't even think I finished it, but mm -hmm. people are trying to like bring back these old shows and it's There's giving so like a sense of nostalgia for like yeah. kids our age and even older. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of reboots, remakes, sequels coming out to things that were out a long time ago and I think it's really cool but I'm, I'm waiting for some new stuff. I know. Like the new Colleen Hoover book, the movies that are coming out about it. Yes, the Colleen Hoover book, the It Ends With Us. Yes. They are making a movie with Blake Lively and... Justin Baldoni? Yes. Yes. Oh my so, gosh, I'm so excited for that. And. That is one of my favorite books. Have, <laughs> have you read it? I haven't, but literally everyone I will give you my copy. Perfect. That you, sounds good. I read that book in probably less than a week. And it really? has to be one of my favorite books. And then, of course, I read It Starts With Us, which is like the yeah. sequel to it. Um, they're just so good. Like, oh, then I definitely have to read it before the movie comes out. Because you I, know the books are always better than the movies. I know, and that's kind of what I'm worried about. Like, I don't want this book being ruined by the movie. Like, Blake Lively's in it, which is promising which is very promising, but yeah. like, it's still, no. <laughs> the book is so good. And all Colleen Hoover books that I've read so far have been just so good. Yeah. There's not just like one. It's been like at least three or four that I've read now that are just really good. So I'm curious to see if she comes out with more movies. Yeah, to her all books. the books, that'd be really cool. I mean, I guess we'll see. Now moving on, we thought with it being the first day of February, we should try to help everyone out when preparing for Valentine's Day. 
That's right, Kyla. We put a question on our Instagram and received some pretty interesting responses. We brought Cupid into the studio to read out some of his favorites. Cupid? What's up, guys? It's Cupid, and these are your guys' top pickup lines from Rock Hill Media. Let's get into this. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. <laughs> Six out of 10. <laughs> Do you have a name, or can I just call you mine? Eight out of 10. I've always been told to follow my dreams, so can I have your Instagram? Four out of 10, it's not gonna work. Do you believe at love at first sight? Or should I walk by again? <laughs> it's eight out of 10. Yeah. My love for you is like diarrhea. I just can't hold it in. That's a 10 out of 10 right there, 100%. Like, <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Back to you guys in the studio. I'm Cupid, but you can call me anytime you want. Now moving into the segment portion of the show, we took a trip out to the track to get a close-up look of their practice. Makes my head wanna twirl. Look at the camera. This is Kaya. She's my friend. Kilo, come here. This is Kyla. <laughs> She's also my friend. We are record holders. What'd you say? What? Oh yeah, we are record holders. I forgot. We are record holders. That's that red Air Force energy. You run in them forces. Yeah. Wait, we didn't do that? We got wait. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, Coach Smith, Samar said can't. Oh. She's <laughs> It's a voice crack for me. Yeah. I don't want to hear what you can't do. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Running is really just uh, run and 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 uh, eat. You don't really get to sleep or breathe. <laughs> Girl, where are you going? <laughs> if you're in an event that you don't want to do, then you don't do it. And even if you are in an event you don't want to do. Still don't do it. Thank you. No. If you want to nominate someone to be mic'd up, DM us on Instagram at rockhill.media. Next, we decided to bring back our segment, Step In. Sharka Call had a student and an administrator switch part of their day. It's not often we see our faculty experiencing what it's like to be in our students' shoes, which is exactly why we decided to bring back our segment, Step In. We had assistant principal Emily Schmidt and freshman band member Emily Schmidt trade an early morning band practice for lunch duty so they could see what it's like to step in. It's just because like most people don't like listen to like students and like teachers have the authority to like tell you no so I don't feel like they would listen to a student as well as a teacher. While Emily had a few successful moments on lunch duty, some people did not listen to her. Thank you. After Emily had somewhat accomplished lunch duty, it was time for Ms. Schmidt to become the student. It was pretty difficult. Um, the first one was uh, manageable because I had some good cues, but the second one I was on my own and I don't have rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Schmidt was easily able to play the Kratalis, but moving on to the Maracas was a different story. Emily, you okay? Let's try that again. <laughs> Maraca malfunction? Yeah. Here we go. Good. Again? We're good. 55. We're this time. Okay? Yeah. 
seem like you're not yourself today. <laughs> We're good. You're good? Okay. Yeah, we got it. All right, let's try once more. Right. It was kind of funny. <laughs> I didn't expect, like, I've been doing it since, like, middle school, so I didn't expect how hard it would be for someone else to, like, step in and do that. But, yeah. She did well whenever she played the Kratalis, which were the metal circle thingies. Um, I mean, <laughs> something she could improve on. Uh, I mean, her rhythm could be improvement, but it's okay because she's never had experience with rhythm before. Both Emily's had valuable experiences watching and learning what it was like to be in the other's place. For Blue Hawk Talk, I'm Sharka Call. If you would like one of your teachers to step in, reach out to us on Instagram. With it being the very first day of Black History Month, Connor Fuchs has sat down with one of the Black Student Union presidents to catch up with what will be going on around the Hill this month. Thank you, Kyla. I'm Connor Fuchs here with one of the Black Student Union presidents, Kira Watson, for just a sit-down interview about all of Black History Month. So first off, can you just tell me what, why is Black History Month important to you and why should it be important to everyone? Black History Month is important to me because it highlights the achievements black Americans have done throughout the years. I think it should be important to everyone because I think it's a month to celebrate our history, our culture, and what we've done so far and what more we can do in the future. And then now looking at the school level as one of Black Student Union's presidents, what is Black Student Union doing this month just in general to celebrate it? Oh, we're doing a ton of things. We are doing and highlighting some HBCU fairs. We are also doing a men's mental health panel. Last year we did a women's mental health panel. Um, this year we are also doing a really big showcase, which is going to feature our step team. It's going to feature our dance team, um, ASL singers, and also a fashion show throughout the decades. We're also having guest speakers and a dress up week as well. That all sounds amazing. I can't wait to see how that turns out. Now, finally, can you just tell me, overall, as a student body, what can everyone do to make this month even better? Honestly, I think that something that can make this month even better is people showing up to more of our events throughout the month. I think Black Student Union is a place that should be comfortable for everyone and something that everyone should be a part of and celebrate. Um, I think especially for the men's mental health um, panel and the showcase is something that's really important. Thank you so much again for coming down and sitting down with me. I can't wait to see how most of the stuff turns out in this next month. But now back over to you, Kyla and Taylor. To keep up with BSU, check out their Instagram at rhhs.bsu. Well, that's all we have for today's show. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the first episode of Blue Hawk Talk. I'm Taylor Bedford. And I'm Kyla Lewis. Keep rocking, Blue Hawks. <laughs>